Hello, friends. Now let's uh, solve the n queens problem. The n queens puzzle is a problem of placing n queens on a n times n chessboard, such that no two queens attach attack it, each other. Uh, given an integer n, return all distinct solutions to the n queens puzzle. Each solution contains a distinct border configuration of the n queens placement, where q and dot both in indicate a queen and an empty space respectively. So given the four, we will return two possible um, configuration of the n queens placement. How to solve this uh, problem? Basically, this is a very classic backtracking problem. And I think uh, the tricky part is that uh, you need to find the index of the diagonal and the anti-diagonal um, because you need to check if it already has uh, the queens. So basically you try to put the queens at each place that is valid and if the next you cannot put the next queen you need to backtrack uh, you need to reset the place of the last queen and try another place. So uh, let's do it. First, we need uh, the result list. And uh, just a new it uh, result. And we are given this n. So we, the very simplest uh, way is to win, use a, we knew a chessboard. Because basically this is the n times n size. So you can just a new a uh, board, and uh, we need to initialize this board, right? Initialize this board. Uh, well, we can just pass this in, and we initialize then. Then we need to do the help function to uh, try to put each queen. So basically, we need to pass the result, and we also need to pass this board, and. Uh, the strategy we use is to try to put the queen row by row. So at first, uh, the queen at the zero row. And uh, we need a Boolean array to check if uh, there is a queen already exists in the same column, same di uh, diagonal and the anti-diagonal lines. So we need a Boolean array. And that will be the columns which means if uh, queen exists, the size should be n, and uh, the dialog diagonal line, the size should be, what should the size be? Let's see an example. So like uh, this is uh, n equal to four, so the number of the diagonal is one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, uh, the number of the diagonals should be n times 2 minus 1 because you see it's the 3 on two sides and the 1 in the middle. So the size should be n times uh, n plus n minus 1. So the same is the anti diagonal. So the Boolean anti diagonal, the size will be n plus n minus 1. And then we pass this two diagonal, a uh, three uh, Boolean array into this function diagonal. And uh, we can also pass this size of the n. And finally, we just return this result. Okay, let's implement the functions. First, we need to um, implement this initial function. And we pass the char mode into it and the size n. So for int i equal to 0, i less than an i plus plus, we just uh, use arrays, fill the bold i. Uh, first, it will be the dot. So we finish that. And then we need to implement the help function. Uh, we first part to pass the list. Uh, Result and we also pass this bold 
and uh, we also pass the current row index, right? And uh, we also pass the columns array and the diagonal array and the anti diagonal array. So as it's a recursion, so we need a base case. What is the base case if we reach the end? If the row index equal to n, which means we have put all the queens. But you know, uh, this uh, is like a list of strings. So we need uh, get the list of string, right? This is a temp. Uh, this is a current list. So we need another function turn to list. Turn to list. We will uh, turn this current bold to the list and we add the, the current list to our result and uh, we return. So let's implement this, this list string uh, function, turn to list. We are past the current bold and uh, we will return this list. So this is the result in the new array list. And the four int i equal to zero i less than we can also, you know, pass the n because we need this n. n i plus plus. We just turn each row to the string. So we use the string builder. Uh, string builder. This is the current rule, new string builder. So we just uh, um, for int j equal to 0, j less than j plus plus, we just put, uh, append the current i, j, to the row. And uh, add the current row to string into our result list and finally return this result. So in this case, we will pass the n. And I uh, missed this here, we need to pass int n into it. So what is the recursion part? We will try. Uh, we will try each, uh, each position. So the colon index start from zero, and the colon index should less than n, and the colon index plus plus. If the current place is valid, if the current place is valid, we put a queen here. So we need row index, colon index, and the columns dialog and the NT dialog. If it's valid, we put this place, which is the row index and the column index equal to the queen. And then we will let the columns, the current column into true, because we put a queen here, so dialog. Uh, what is the index? Well, I think it's a bit a little bit of trick. Um, then I will fill it afterwards and the NT dialogue also equal to true. And then we recursively put the queen. So the bold the same. And the it can row index to the plus one because we will try to put the next rows and call them the same, dialogue the same, and NT dialogue the same, and N the same. And if we uh, have to backtrack, we reset all these things. So we reset these things. So this we put that equal to dot. And we let this equal to false. OK, that's it. So uh, we need to implement this Boolean function, which is, is valid. Uh, we will pass the bold. Then we also need to pass the row index, the call index, and uh, we need to pass the three boolean function. That will be the columns boolean um, di diagonal boolean function and the anti diagonal function. So if there are the three array the place has a queen, we just return false. So if the columns, column index equal to true or diagonal, this place have the queen or the anti-diagonal 
Here have the queen, we just return force. Else we return true. This is a valid place. Okay, so the problem is how to get the diagonal index and anti diagonal index. Let's see the picture. Uh, and let's say the the size of the diagonal uh, index um, uh, array is n plus n minus 1. This is, and this is the anti diagonal. The size is the same. The anti diagonal is uh, much easier. So if you see the row index equal to 1 and the column index is 0, this is this, uh, is this element. What's its anti dialog index? That will be 0, 1. So it should be 1, right? And uh, if the row index is 3, which is this element, the call index is equal to 0, what's the number of the anti dialog index? 0, 1, 2, 3. So as you can see, the anti dialog index should be the row index plus the column index. You should try. Um, some elements to find the pattern and then you will some summarize like uh, that the index in the anti dark should be the row index plus this column index so we will fill this it will be row row index plus the column index uh, and uh, also this place this should be the row index plus the column index row index plus the column index. So what about the dialog index? Uh, I think uh, it's a, bit of a little bit trick, uh, tricky, but if you try many numbers and you will summarize the, the pattern. Let's see if the row index equal to 1, the uh, column index to 0, which is this place. So uh, what's this index? You should, should start from the leftmost, bottom leftmost, 0, 1, 2. So it should be two, right? So as you can see, basically you will start from the bottom left. So you will see you uh, maybe you can use n minus the row index. And uh, when the same when uh, in the same row the colon index uh, um, make a positive effect. So you will think like plus and. Uh, then you will summarize like uh, the index should be n minus row index plus column index minus 1. And if you try another example like the row index equal to 0, the column index equal to 1, which is this element, it should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The index in the anti dialog index should be the 4. So basically, then you will fill this part. There will like row index plus a column index minus 1. The same, you feel like n minus row index plus column index minus 1. And the same is here, it's n minus row index plus column index minus 1. Okay. I think I finished it on can't find this example. Uh, well, it's valid. Well, I think I need to pass this n, so let me think simple. It's valid. We pass this n. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.